Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare holy grail products video. Um, I have had this question asked so many times like what are your favorite products or what are your favorite go-to slash holy grail skincare products and even though I do monthly favorites and I'm constantly finding new favorites and I'm sure a lot of those will add be added to my holy grail skincare products in the future. I thought I would show you guys my current holy grail products that I use super frequently that I just know I will repurchase once I'm finished. So without any further ado, let's just get right into the products. I'm first going to start off with my holy grail cleanser, which is the Goop Luminous Melting Cleanser. I have talked about this before. I've talked about it in a favorites video. Um, I think even my 2018 favorites video, even though it's a pretty recent favorite from, I would say maybe October, November, but it's a bomb cleanser. Um, I currently just have a stick in there just to scoop it up. And there is a lot of product in here. It's going to last you a long time. You really don't need that much. You basically just scoop the product out, um, warm it between your hands or on your skin, and it basically just melts away your makeup, melts away any foundation and mascara, and definitely will you know, cleanse and hydrate your skin as well. All of Goop products are known for their anti-aging properties, so it's packed full of ama amazing ingredients and I know that once I run out of this, I will go back and repurchase it. Next, I have two toners that I am obsessed with and absolutely love. The first one should come to no surprise. It is the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. I use this so frequently and surprisingly, it's lasted a really long time. This is the four fluid ounce. They also have an eight fluid ounce and I believe a two fluid ounce, which is like my travel size one, which I carry in my purse. And I can tell I probably have maybe a quarter of the bottle left, but I love spraying this after I've cleansed my face. I find it really amazing for locking in hydration, but I also really like it because having your skin wet or um, having like that mist prior to applying your serums is really going to help A, lock in the moisture and B, help that serum penetrate further into your skin and therefore work better. So I have loved this one since I first got it. And honestly, the ingredients are amazing. It smells so good. I feel like I've heard some people saying they don't like the smell of it, which blows my mind, but it smells amazing. If you are like a smell sensitive, um, scent sensitive person, then I would check it out in stores first or somewhere you're able to return it if you're purchasing online. But hands down, a favorite facial mist. I also want to talk about a toner that I use more so for kind of helping to cleanse my face again, basically help remove any excess dirt, oils, or any residual makeup that I may have on. Um, and that's the Indie Lee. This is the CoQ10 toner. This smells really, really great. I actually just put this on a cotton pad and then I just wipe down my face. And I always notice that even if I find that I do like a really good cleanse, I still end up having some additional makeup um, wipe off on the cotton pad. So really like this for it's kind of like double cleansing properties and i also really like it because it's super hydrating it's going to help plump the skin and it's basically going to um, make your skin look really radiant glowing and fresh and so it's packed full of amazing ingredients and i highly recommend this now these are two serums that are really new to me but are totally favorites and holy grails and i already know that i'm going to be repurchasing them as soon as i'm done i did only get the, I think this is only 30 milliliters. No, 10 milliliters. I only got the 10 milliliter um, bottles. They do come in 30 milliliters as well. And that is the Stem Cell Serum from Indie Lee as well as the Daily Vitamin Infusion from Indie Lee. These two are hands down my like favorite serums. They're um, in like the middle price range for serums. The Daily Vitamin Infusion is a great source of vitamin C. I love using this in the morning time and I do a little skincare cocktail. Um, I do have a video on that of all, you know, blending in my serums and I do feature both of these in that um, video. And then the Stem Cell Serum is also really amazing. And this is really good for basically anti-aging properties, plumping the skin, getting rid of fine lines, um, basically boosting collagen production, both of these together are my favorite. I apply the daily infusion in the morning time and I apply this both night and day. You can tell that I've definitely gone through the serum, um, the stem cell serum quicker than the vitamin infusion, but I will be purchasing the larger size once I'm finished with these because they're so good. 
Next, I want to talk about a mask that is pricey, that's so amazing. It's I've, you know, dabbled in many masks since I started in my clean skincare journey. And while I don't wear them every single day, um, like I do, you know, my cleansers and my serums and my moisturizers, I do really like, you know, playing around with masks. Hands down, favorite mask of like all the ones I've tried is the Kipris Deep Forest Clay Mask. I'm almost done this. Um, you really don't need that much. You don't need to kind of do a thick layer on your face. You really just need to kind of um, lightly apply it. It has, you know, the clays in it. It's also going to both chemically and like physically exfoliate your face. It's got little tiny particles. It smells like dirt, like a forest, like dirt. It smells like the dirt in a forest on a rainy day. That's the best way I can describe it, but it's actually really therapeutic and like calming to me. Um, and I really find that my skin looks rejuvenated and fresh and glowing after I use it. I find that I get the most um, payoff when I actually like take off the mask. I see the most difference when I'm using this. So that is why I like it. It's a pricey um, price tag at $116, $115 Canadian dollars, which is like but I've also had this for a really long time and so it has lasted me quite a bit. And I would repurchase it, which goes to show you that I really like it. Now for night creams, creams, the Goop Replenishing Night Cream. This is very expensive as well. Um, I did pay for this with my own money. It was $195. It was hard to swallow. Um, a lot of these products I purchased with my own money as well, I do want to mention. Um, some were sent to me, but most of them I did purchase myself. Um, but this is so rich and creamy. It's got like the thickest, most luxurious feel to it. You only need a little bit to really kind of cover your whole face just because it is so thick and rich. Um, and again, with the goop being super um, good for any anti-aging, it does have um, a retinol in it, which is why you can only wear this at night. If you don't like retinols in your skincare products, then I would obviously recommend you stay clear of this, but if you do like retinols and you want to introduce retinols into your skincare routine, um, definitely recommend the Goop one. Um, this is kind of skincare and it's kind of makeup, um, but I classify it more as skincare because even if I'm not wearing makeup, I will apply this, and that is the Kula Face SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, sunscreen is super important to apply to your face on a daily basis, whether it's summer, winter, spring, fall, I don't care what time of the year. UVA and UVB rays are still going to affect your skin, and so sun protection is a must-have. I really like this one. Um, honestly, I haven't really tried a lot of sunscreens just because I've always continuously used this one, and I haven't really explored too many. Um, so right now, this is my favorite one and um, they actually have a new product out that I really want to try, um, which is supposed to help protect you against like the blue rays from our electronic devices and stuff, so stay tuned for maybe a review on that. Um, but yeah, really obsessed with this. It's also a moisturizer because it's supposed to help hydrate your skin, so um, I still obviously apply my moisturizer and then apply this, but it's totally up to you if you want to minimize how much um, product you're applying to your face. Next, I have two products I want to talk about for my lips. I've mentioned it before that I have really dry, dehydrated lips. So there's two products I want to mention that I have been using like all the time. The first one, which is probably my favorite one, is the, um, I believe it's the OG is how you pronounce it. This is the um, Hydra Organics Sculpted, Sculpted Lip Oil. Now it comes in like a little like crayon like this and you twist it up. This is so hydrating. I took it to work with me. It's kind of like an oil, like a hardened oil, but it doesn't feel super oily on your lips. It really kind of feels like a really super nourishing lip balm, which I really appreciate. And it's just super easy to apply because it's kind of in this um, crayon. And I just, I'm obsessed with this. I use this all the time. And once I run out, I know I'll buy another one. And then I also have this um, Four se no, All Seasons Beauty Balm by Five Yina. Um, I will also apply this sometimes to my lips. The only problem is I don't like the taste of it. So sometimes, you know, products on your lips, you are going to likely taste it and ingest it. So I really don't like this for the taste. But if I don't have my OG one with me, I have been using this and really like it for the hydration. And my cuticles are disgusting right now, like super dry. Um, and I will just apply this to my cuticles 
and then like any like um, chapped skin or if I have like any like abrasions or scratches I will apply that there and I find that it helps heal it quicker and I don't know if it's because it's moisturizing it or if it's you know creating a seal but whatever it does it's very <laughs> multi-purposeful which I really appreciate in skincare products or just beauty products in general and so I've been really liking this and the size is super compact so you can easily just fit this in your small purse or um, your scrub pockets like me so I really like this as well so that is it for my holy grail skincare products there aren't a lot and the really reason behind that is because there's not a lot of products that I would necessarily repurchase I try a lot of skincare products and they really have to be like top of the line for me to repurchase them um, though I have to say that I've been trying a lot more skincare products as of recently and definitely think that I'll be adding a lot more to my holy grail products because I am very much obsessed with them so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any additional requests then definitely leave them in the comment section down below I will do my best to get around to filming it for you guys and yeah Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.